Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching USA Rugby on Sports 32. My name is Dylan Bolin, alongside my broadcast partner, Art Sears. What do we got today, Art? Uh, Dylan, today we are in Milwaukee, Wisconsin for the Lakefront Sevens Rugby Tournament. This is the premier Sevens tournament in the Midwest Rugby Territory. We've got some hard-hitting action. It's going to be fast. It's going to be furious. Just sit back, relax. We've got a beautiful day, and we've got a lot of rugby. We'll be right back. Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Milwaukee now. Lakefront Veterans Park, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You're watching Sports 32 and USA Rugby. It's the Lakefront Sevens underway. It's the Chicago Lions in black. The Youngbloods from Minnesota in light blue. Looks like we got a, another good one starting here, blue. Artie. On our feet. Again, the Chicago Lions, a Super League team, the highest Get level of blue. play they have in the US. And they're gonna take a run with it. Good pass by the lines. Young Bloods are gonna have their hands full trying to contain this team. They've got good open pit. Oh, they've got a good open side. Number 10 for the Lions gonna take it. Offloads it off to number one, it looks like. Number six now on the outside, taking a big run with it. Can they catch him? They're going for the pursuit. They wrap him up. Just shot up, oh, just inside the try, try zone. Almost went out the back. 50 seconds. That was number six. That's Lucas Thiem. Fast and furious right away. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We're just catching our breath. Thanks for joining us down here. That was a, a, a great try right away. Support Chris passing by the Lions. Textbook try. 50 seconds into these seven, this sevens match. We've got a score of the Lions five, young bloods nothing. Number 10 for the Lions gonna attempt this kick. That's Scott Peterson. I understand. This is the it's the third year here for the Young Bloods. Take a look around. This is this is Veterans Park you're seeing right here. Part of the Milwaukee County Sports Complex National Gold Medal winner. That means they're number one. Some of the best park systems in Thank the you. United States are right here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And the Lakefront Sevens are on one of them, Veterans Park. Your referee out there in the yellow jersey, Terry Helmer, fine Minnesota referee. Touch judges, Steve Midthune, Joe Cunningham. Lions are getting set to kick off to the Young Bloods. They made that conversion kick, so that's going to be seven to nothing in favor of the Lions. Going to boot it again. The Young Bloods are going to see what they can do. They haven't had their hands on the ball yet, Oof. and a good shot by the Lions. Shivering. And number 11 knew he knocked that on. Knock forward, 11 black. Still Got we got to to break that up. We got to talk to him about selling that a little better. Just what do you mean I knocked that on, Your Honor, <laughs> sir? <laughs> straight yeah. down. Don't give up Find right away. 38-30 West right. National, ladies and gentlemen. Coach, that is coach. where the Milwaukee Knights Pub Coach. is now located, Again. just a few blocks from Miller Park. It's your pre and post meeting spot for Please. all Brewer games. Third shifters, it's open at 6 a.m. daily. We got a happy hour from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Then again at 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. $1.50 domestics and rails Monday through Friday. Touch, touch called. Milwaukee Knights Pub, the home of your Milwaukee West Side oh, Harlequins. Stop in for a pint and a guaranteed good time. Fast and furious action once again down here. Good line out lift by both clubs. Lions able to get a hand on it. Takes time. It, took it right back in. Boy, I can tell you, these Chicago Lions look like a Super League team. It's like they know what's going to happen Question before is, it happens. Great communication. That's pure experience. Uh, this team yes. has played in the Lakefront before Sevens not. tournament Final for 20 here. years. Of course, this is the, this is the 29th line. Lakefront Here's Sevens tournament. Great history here Front. in Milwaukee. But when you've been playing rugby together that long as an established team, you almost do know what's going to happen. But the Young Bloods that time, number five, gets his hands Advantage on gained. it. Advantage gained. It's Nick Johnson, the Advantage prop. Gained. He was up high in the air on that. It's not easy to get a prop high in the air. No, even a sevens prop. No. <laughs> We're going to have a stoppage here for just a moment. We're going to come all the way back. Terry Helmer's going to take both teams back. Looks like we're going to have a penalty against the Lions. I'd like to let you know at this point, while well, there is a 
slight lull. Athletico, physical therapy, occupational therapy, athletico.com, providing the athletic training for all the games today, including for Art and I sitting over here on the sidelines. Our posture was horrible. Athletico got a hold of us. And now I feel what? like I could fly in this chair. Three. Thank you, Athletico. We've had stoppage after the kicks. All right, your time. And there was a score off that line out. So that's going to make it Lions 12, Ten. Young Play. Bloods 0. Knock forward, Black. Come left, come right, come right. Young Bloods taking Avenge it right back over. up. Black, release six. Get out of there, leave it, Black. Penalty advantage. With the experience of the Chicago Lions, the only way the Black six not rolling. Best way for the young bloods to combat that is with speed and youth, and they've got a lot of that, but couldn't quite put their hands on the ball. Knock forward. Kick straight out by number seven on the young bloods. It's a good idea. Here, game. Oh, the young bloods are scrapping. He wasn't Final exactly black. sure where that was gonna go, so that's Alex got Alex got Alec Agate. Put a boot on it. We're going to have a black line out. From the knock on. Hooker in the trenches. Hooker in. Here at the Lakefront Sevens Tournament, the premier Sevens Tournament in the Midwest. Course Sevens. Back forward. The form of rugby that you will see in the 2016 Olympics for both men and women. Back forward in the lineup. Those Olympic Games are going to be from Brazil, as you see a shot of Dylan and myself, Art Sears. Back forward in the lineup. Mark Nobody here. else is watching us, but I'm watching us. We're going to have a scrum down for the Young Bloods. As you hear referee Terry Helmer announcing that the ball is outside of the 22. Crouch. It's very important. Touch. Pause. Engage. It means if it's kicked straight out, we do not get any yeah, advantage. Bit of a, and a hike there. Good bounce. Good long snap. Young Bloods were almost not prepared for it, but number 10 recovered it quite well. That's Casey Cronk, the fly Back half forward, at center. Blue. Scrum advantage black. But now the Lions have recovered. Advantage is over. He puts a boot on it, this number 11. Let's see if he can come up with it. Nope, goes straight out the back 22. of the try zone. So we're going to have a 22 meter drop for the Young Bloods. The Dead ball there. They're going to hustle on back. 22 or scrum at the kick. Or scrum at the kick, it's a choice. Looks like they're going to have the 22. 22. Okay. They're going to take their time with this. Let's have it, Blue. Trying to slow down the Lions' momentum a little bit. Youngsters, if you're watching this and you're interested in playing rugby, you should be. We've got you covered with the Milwaukee United U19 rugby team. If you're a high school student under the age of 19, you're interested in playing rugby, visit milwaukeeunited.org or facebook.com slash milwaukeeunited for more information. Get out here and play this game. Scrum advantage, Blue. And if you're 18 years or older and you like what you're watching, visit MilwaukeeHarlequins.com. Milwaukee Harlequins feature both a, D, a Division I and Division III rugby team. There's no experience necessary. Potential knock 10. What? That's for play. anybody that wants to play that's 18 and older. As the young bloods at the end of the first half are going to try and keep this alive and put a score in, cut that 12 0 lead down. Number six on the Lions needs to wrap just a little better on those tackles. Referee Helmer Rock. says it's good, it's good. Oh, formed. Good rocking, num out to number nine, passes it to six. Just Gives look. it a kick for the wing to go get it, and he puts his hands on it, but stolen by the Lions. Number 11 for the Lions, it's taking a, a run race. with it. There's Rocco Maurer. There's number one, taking a run down the sideline. That's the prop. <laughs> It may be the first and last time oh, you ever yeah. hear me say that, but <laughs> that's a, that's good for another five points. That'll make it 17 to nothing for the Lions. We're gonna, there's gonna be a convert, conversion attempt here. And that's gonna end the first half here on Sports Channel 32. As soon as this kick is taken, let's see if he can make it. Now he's got it on the sidelines. You see a beautiful shot of our Calatrava here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin on our lake front, Lake Michigan. And the kick is up. And no good. Wow, he had all of it, that's for Ooh. sure. That's going to make the score 17 for the Chicago Lions, zero for the Youngbloods out of Minnesota. But anything could happen here in the second half, and we will see you in just a moment. And 
And we're back. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us. Boy, did you pick a good match to join. It's your Chicago Griffins, Chicago Lions, beg your pardon, against the Youngbloods from Minnesota. So far, the Lions are dominating here 17 to 0. The young bloods have shown that they are willing to scrap as well. There's a lovely home bridge looking south from Veterans Park down here at the Lakefront Sevens. I'm Dylan Bolin, joined by my broadcast partner here, Art Sears. Boy, the Lions have just been flowing so well. To watch their technique, you can tell why they're a Super League team. Absolutely. It's, of course, again, the Super League is the premier league in the U.S. for rugby. Did you see a shot of some of our great fans here? Over 80, 80, 85 teams have traveled to this tournament to be part of the Lakefront Sevens, the premier tournament in the Midwest for Rugby Sevens. Griffins are going to kick off. Youngbloods are going to try and put their hands on it, and they do. Number 12 gives a great grab. That's Jeff Caldwell. Shivering stiff arm there. Skip pass. I don't know if that was on purpose or not. The knock-on certainly wasn't, but. Back forward blue, scrum black. That's going to lead us to another Lions scrum. Referee Terry Helmer in the yellow jersey. Full side, gentlemen. Let's keep it low. Let's not bring that up. Here we are once again at Veterans Park. Crouch, touch, pause, engage. Part of the Milwaukee County Parks National Gold Medal winner. That's number one, folks. Number one in the nation right here in Milwaukee. Great dummy pass. Look at number four for Griffin's butt. Still gets tackled. He's got a Healthy little bit advantage. of support. Get entry. Get entry blue. Yep, number six did not come in directly from behind, according to it the wasn't. referee. It was tackle. Still get. He didn't go behind and start back. Number 11 going to give it a boot. Griffin's going to, or excuse me, Lions going to see what they ball. can do. Until it's out. Number one, the prop going to pass it back inside, but passed it a bit forward. Still, once again, that's an example Before of that, black. that, that flow by the Lions. All the support is always there. The passing is crisp. They're moving quickly. Boy, they're a... They're a formidable opponent for any team. Only reason they were they even passed it forward was simply because on, the, the guy coming up for the pass was so fast. Okay. And he just ran a little bit ahead of him. Referee Helmer's got those sharp eyes. Nothing gets past Coach. him. He caught it. We have a Touch. blue scrum. Pause. Engage. Fine, Black. Still 17 to nothing for the Lions. Bit of a long snap, little errant, but they lay their hands on it. Number six long. with a good wide pass to number four. He's going to try and hit the corner. Number 11 having none of it. He throws an errant pass. I, I don't know if that's a good idea for the Lions. A quick line out by the Lions. A little bit of a slip. Number three is going to take it. He's going to recover. He's going to take his time, though. Set up. Everybody on side. Now, now, the, now the Lions not, get, not feeling a lot of pressure. The young bloods don't want to go too fast and allow them a hole. But that just all that does is give the Lions a minute to actually set up. On our feet. Mm, penalty Five, against eight. the young bloods. Back. We're, we're not on the feet when the tackle. Number 10 is going to break through one tackle. Offloads it to number three. That's Mitchell Malloy. That's Ball. the center. Well, the mall is formed. You don't see those too often. Not in sevens. Held up mall. We're going to have a scrum down mall. due to the held up mall because the ball was brought held in by the mall. Lions. And it was a mall. There was nothing. The ball was just not moving due to the flow of the game. We're going to have a scrum at the five-meter line Thanks to the Youngbloods. Ladies and gentlemen, at 3830 West National, oh, located I... just a few blocks from oh. Miller Park, yeah. something Touch. special, the Milwaukee Knights Pub, Pause. the former Sinbin Game. Sports Bar, is your pre- and post-meeting spot Fine. for all Brewer games. It's Milwaukee yeah, Nights Pub. Over. It's the home of your Milwaukee West Side Harlequins. We're open for third shifters at 6 a.m. Daily happy hour from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Then again at 3 p.m. to Touch. 7 p.m. Touch. Dollar fifty domestics Pause. and rails Monday through Friday. Engage. Stop in for a pint. It's a guaranteed good time. Stop in some time, talk some rugby. Usually one Whoa. of the rugby players are in there. Good. good kick. That was a good kick. All the way back out to the halfway point. Number 11 is going to field that for the for the Lions. It's going to run his team back on side. That's Did Rocco it. Maurer. Holds it, takes it back to the 22. Number three is trying to spin around with it. Number nine just knocked it on. Lucas Dean, excuse me, that's, that's Mickey Franco. 
Well, the Lions Four making up every meter that's, of that kick and that's a quickly. Step in the wing. Behind, behind that kicker. Action so fast and furious, it's almost hard for us to call the right number. That's the, that's the nature of Rugby 7s, though. Only it's gauge. a fast, fast game. Only seven Only minutes score. for the Five. half. There's seven players on a side. Touch. Touch. Pause. Engage. Scrum down for Blue. Black's got to stay on side. He gets back over. Gonna fake the kick. Young Bloods might actually do well to take a kick, but I don't know if I'd want to put the ball back in the Lions' hands in any, any sort of way. But swarming defense by the Lions. Here it comes. Coming you right at this. us. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost caught. That. Almost caught by my partner. We're good. As you see, the ball came right at us. Thank you, number nine. Uh, Let's take another look at that. See, I, here's my problem. I had a pen Two in the left. hand. Yes, yeah, she did. You see, see, it's coming see it's straight coming at, at us. And, oh. Step. Blue, blue step. There it is. See, I, as a prop, of course, just went to block it because I'm not allowed to catch balls. Good. Nice. Oh, good wow, good work by number 10, but allowed number 6 to get his hands on the ball for the Lions and take it straight in. <laughs> and Lucas theme again. Another try for the Lions. It, it, it looks line. like there's 15 of them out there. It really does. It's, I mean, Youngblood's rather new team. Third year. Third year, but they all, they're, they're only get together to play sevens. The Lions play sevens and 15s, so that gives them a, a, a continuity that it's tough for the Youngbloods to match. Tries they might, but they're gaming. They're hanging in there. Yes, they are. They're scrapping. So that's going to make the score 24 to 0. We've got a minute and 10 seconds left to go in the seven-minute half. Nick, minute and a half left. Let's see what the like, young bloods can do with this. Speaking of young, hey kids. If the kids are out there watching, youngsters, if you're interested, if you like what you're seeing, you can join the Milwaukee United U19 rugby team. If you're a high school student under the age of 19, that's what Three. the U19 means. And you want to play rugby, you want to try it, Center. do it. Go to milwaukeeunited.org or facebook.com slash milwaukeeunited for more information. You too can be this good. Not held. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, the, the, this is the next Olympic sport in 2016. That's a ways Run. from now. If you start now, start training. On our feet, Blue. You could be our next Olympic hopeful. Again, both men's and women's sevens rugby will be in the Olympics in 2016. Healthy advantage, nine, playing a man on the ground. To referee Helmer admonishing the Chicago Lions for playing the man on the ground. We're going to go to full time here. Youngbloods are going to try and oh, put one on. Great pass. Nice move inside. Number six taking the ball. He passes it off to number nine. Not held. Thrown down. Not, not held. Not held. Referee Helmer calls it good. Try is awarded. Way to go, Youngbloods. Boy, they worked for that one the they entire did. 14 minutes. This they side. did. They showed guts. Five this side. This side. Never, never, never quit. That's some great work on both sides here. None of them ever, none of them ever gave up as you see some of our great fans there here at the Lakefront Sevens. There's my, uh, and it's up, it's wide. It's wide to the right, no good. That's full time. Your final score, the Chicago Lions with 24 points against the Youngbloods from Minnesota with five. Both teams put up a great fight. Ladies and gentlemen, for my broadcast partner, Dylan Bull, and I am Thank Art Sears, much. coming to you from the Milwaukee, Wisconsin, part of Lake Michigan, the Lakefront Sevens Rugby Tournament. We'll see you on the pitch.